So next we are going to see the live event policy. So this is the live event that you are doing live and you want uh, different, uh, it's not that you are uh, <clears throat> uh, sending out invitation for people to join. Sure you are, but it's not a closed meeting. It's live event like, uh, you know, uh, like Apple when they reveal their product it's in live event they broadcast it so it's it will be like a broadcast it will just like a TV so anybody can actually go to your link and see while it's being broadcasted so you can see it's only one default policy is it over there there are 15 default and only zero one custom so we can see the default policy which is a lot schedule do you want it allow it to be scheduled yes uh, allow transcription for attendees that's the like whatever being said uh, transcribe it who can join this schedule live live event so for example if a keynote address is to be made by the vice president or president of the company so they can schedule it that will send out everybody hey for that time that day expect this you can tune into this and this is the settings like are you doing it for everyone everyone worldwide everyone in the organization that would be like us when our <coughs> um, the uh, president was giving a address uh, they told us in advance and then there was a link that we could go and watch it uh, so this will be the organization this will be specific user or group so you can actually pick and choose this is related to them and you know it, you can uh, groups and uh, users they were all, they will be already there like uh, in your office 365 all you will have to do is select this and then uh, you know you have somebody will actually uh, select them users uh, when they are the <coughs> Uh, setting that schedule when, when they're setting up that uh, event so this is the policy right now the policy is everyone in the organization so the default that's the default policy we're not setting this user or that event right now we are just looking in the policy and who can record an event it's just always record so never record or organizer can record so always record mean that they whenever somebody will use this uh, the the default policy is that will be recorded and saved in your Microsoft Office 365 uh, account. So, and it's a good thing. There should be a record. So we can cancel that. If we were to, we can either add this one or we can add a new policy. So again, you can see it's exactly the same thing and that's across the board same in Microsoft uh, Office 365 that uh, the policy is simply very minimal. Uh, options to choose from and it's uh, the same and you will be only just making one or two adjustments and create a name so everything is same you could say that okay only organizer can record or never record uh, it's up to you <clears throat> or you can you know set up that uh, who are the users will be uh, uh, in that group that can uh, attend that live event so manage users you can afford the global you can manage which users are if you have a custom policy then you can go to manage and search those users for example if I were to search Ali so the policy will be applied to Ali so this is the live event policies pretty safe, straightforward and reset global policy you can reset it meaning that if you made any changes you can reset it to what the default was but it's a good idea to create a different or separate um, hmm, policies <coughs> so you can see custom policy is allowed if I were to off it and apply your changes are saved and I am not allowed to save it oh maybe this is the case name and I can save it okay custom policy discard <coughs> custom policy it will be from the user point like users can make custom policies so pretty straightforward and simple uh, if uh, this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one